buddy of ours and myself. Um, I guess we were watching football one Sunday, and so, you know, we were barbecuing, we probably had some wine. We had some wine. Uh, <laughs> and whatever else happened that night. But um, I get an email, I'm laying down to go to bed, it's finally like two or three in the morning, I have to work the next day. And I get like a bring, and I was like, who is sending me an email? And so I look at my little thing, and it's a picture of Jensen, like, uh, and then Harley and Sadie's faces. I guess he, I guess they followed him because we now live together. So I guess they followed him downstairs. They smelled a sucker. They were like, he's not, he's not awake enough to like not let us on the bed. And so I guess he passed out. And so there go like Harley and Sadie jumping onto the bed with their dog lips all over the place. It's a nice picture though. I'll have to find it and, and sneak it onto YouTube or something. My three dogs. I mean, I mean like D A W G. Don't touch it. Thank you so much for joining thank, us, Jared. Thank you. I love this. Crickets. Hi, Jared. Hi. I'm Katie. I'm Jared. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my question is, is pretty simple. You could have any superpower, that would it be? Now that's a question. If. Uh, if I could have any superpower, what would it be? Um, you know what, the, the classic answer is to fly, but you can kind of fly in a plane anyways. I'd love to be able to, I don't know what it would be called, like water powers. Like I'd love to be able to swim way deep in the ocean, like the Marianas Trench, and see what's going on out there. They're about to be some like crazy, huge fish. Aquaman, I guess that's it. <laughs> Without like the green scale orange tights. I don't know if that like was a was a requirement, maybe I'd rethink it, but I'd love to have Aquaman powers. Thank you. Thank you. There are a lot of people. That's so cool. Hi. Yes. Hi. That was a good one. Hello. I missed that of course. <laughs> Did you, did you see the video? Yeah? Speechless! <laughs> You're so sweet! I'm gonna applaud for you. You're a doll, do you wanna throw something at me? Did you, want, did you want to say anything? I love it. Thank you. I'm glad I came down here. <laughs> Thank you. She said she loved me. Aww. Yeah, what's up? Thank you. Thanks for getting the line. Can I get an info? <laughs> Round two. It's now so blatantly obvious that I have a stuntman doing my things. <laughs> I'm winded and I'm injured. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm Jared. You. <laughs> I'm a big Full House fan and I want to know what it was like working with the Olsen twins. <laughs> <laughs> I never worked with the Olsen twins. Um, what was that? I know nothing. That... <laughs> you know what, actually, um, the Olsen twins, uh, with them. They are the hardest working, but they were, I don't know what it is now, but they, are, they were the hardest working <laughs> girls, people I had ever met. Like they were the lead actresses, but they were also the producers, and like if they weren't acting, they were going and doing casting, and like doing rewrites, and doing wardrobe fittings, and so, um, it was interesting. I, I, I learned a lot. I learned that they didn't get there by an accident, you know? Like, um, they worked very, very hard. And I also learned that I don't want to be that famous. We were shooting in Times Square, and um, they just got heckled so much, and they were, you know, I think, I guess they were 17 at the time, because people would come by wearing the shirts, like, 30 days till they're 18, you know? <laughs> and then they just kind of like, it was so sad. Um, I'm not like I pity them or anything, but um, they were very, very in the public eye, so I, I, I felt for them, you know, for the lack of anonymity. But it was nice, it was a learning experience. Thank you for coming. Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> Hi. Um, I was just wondering, was there any specific time where you knew that you wanted to become an actor? Like, was there a specific time 
Was there any movie or anything that inspired you that you watched all the time? You know what, when I was a kid, um, I guess when I was a kid, when I was whatever age I was, like eight or nine, I wanted to be on Home Improvement. I think I had a crush on a girl that had like a JTT folder, and I was like, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> so, I have a vendetta against him now. I ran into an audition, like, first first month I was in LA. I was kind of like, I'm bigger than he is. <laughs> and he was sitting there, and so, I don't know. You know, all the girls, I think it was when I kind of, you know, whatever age boys are when they start getting crushes. So I liked this girl, and she had like, JTT, I love JTT. So, um, probably then. But then I, I actually started acting, and I love acting, so, and I still love acting, and so here I am. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Golly, feisty crowd shows up in Chicago. <laughs> thank you. Keep me in check. Um, no. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> I think we've gone over that. <laughs> Touche. Life list of things they want to do before they pass away. What would be one of your top five? <laughs> Turn a hundred. Thank you. Thank you. I feel nervous. Give me a second. Did y'all see me scratch my nose with the mic? <laughs> the one Jensen's going to use. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> Ask him to smell it. Okay, sorry. Can you can You can totally answer the question. It's like five for five. We've gone over this. Can I get my question? <laughs> Hi. I'm Jen. I'm Jared. <laughs> um, I actually have a question about the show. All right. <laughs> um, so, you know, Sam's season is pretty impressive. I've got to say. Um, what are some things that you're looking forward to even more, though, about the, than, like, the hand of the cat thing? <laughs> the cat? <laughs> the hand over the back? No, no, no. <laughs> you hold your hand out. Phantom's calling you your hand of the cat. Hand of the cat? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, man holds his hand out and people drop their demons. Really? That's what this thing is. Now, you know. Spell that. How do you spell that? <laughs> is that like a post it note saying, kick me on my back? <laughs> how, how do you spell it? Who's <laughs> Is that like German? <laughs> Where are my hamburgers? <laughs> Over there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, what impressed me more than that is that um, Sam's only been strangled once this season. I know. I know. Let's hear. Let's hear for you. Yeah. I'm so happy that I finally got to do that. I, I did it. I, I think um, I think as I kept on getting strangled, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do really bad acting whenever I get strangled. So by like the last time I got strangled, I was like, oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> Save me, Dean. And so, I think maybe they took the hint. But it's nice. The worst part about getting strangled, besides the fact that I got strangled a lot, was ADRing it. You're sitting there in front of a microphone, and I don't know if y'all have ever been sitting down and done like heavy breathing. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. <laughs> For those of you uh, who don't want to play with ADR, you have to kind of, you know, uh, uh, and make all the noises and, and voice over yourself. And you get so into it, and sitting down, you get lightheaded. And so I'd be sitting down the truck, and I'd be like, give me a second. And so I'd have to, like, do several takes. I, was, I always dreaded that. But um, I'm glad I can hit the cat. <laughs> I learned something new about the show today. Y'all just taught me something. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to take back, the, back up to Vancouver. Back, back, back. Oh, so it makes sense. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now that it's canon that Sam's a necrophiliac, do you think oh, he'll try to... Oh, 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 o
<laughs> I wish I could really nip a cat. <laughs> I'm just that word now. My question is, do you think you'll get back together with Jess? Um... <laughs> I'm just like saving it in my Sam database so that I can use it on Monday, on tomorrow. What's going on, man? Hi, I'm Josh. Pleasure to meet you. Jared, Pleasure, the show. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks, man. Well, one of my favorite episodes is when you guys go on the cover at the carnival. I was just wondering, did Sam really have a thing for the bearded lady? <laughs> this, is, this is last year, right? The episode two, Kids Are All Right, I think, or which one was it? Season two. Oh, that's right. Season mom, two, episode two. episode That's right. I, I did not have a thing for the bearded lady. Um, that was Jensen in real life. <laughs> so Sam only likes dead chicks. <laughs> yeah. So she wasn't dead enough for him. That's what I think. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. Bearded lady. Very humorous episodes where you had play straight men. Hopefully on purpose. <laughs> well, yes, they were. I'm sure they were on purpose. But you had play straight men, and and in one scene in Yellow Fever, when Jensen's holding the <laughs> flashlight, it looks like you're losing it. <laughs> How hard is it to play straight man, especially in the face of those outrageous lines that you're fed by your partner? It's it's really hard. Um, I, unfortunately, I think as great as Jensen is in the episodes, you don't see how great he really is because those takes I'm laughing during. So, <laughs> however funny he is, he's actually funnier. I'm just ruining it. I'm just like, <laughs> you know, so. I mean, you can hear me in the Eye of the Tiger video because I'm Mike, so you can hear me like cracking up. Um, it's really tough, and I think um, it just takes a good director to be like, listen, you know, we need you to stick it together. And the, the cat scene where the cat runs out of the rock, that was funny. we actually because they only used a short amount, but we actually um, ran it for like a minute. And so I'll have to see if y'all can ask Jensen if he can recreate it or something. Uh, I was dying, I was dying. If they would've been rolling cameras on me while he was doing his thing, I just would've been like crying. So uh, it's really tough, but it's a lot of fun. And ultimately I have to, you know, like bite my lip or bite my tongue so I don't laugh and, and ruin the tape. Thank you. Thank and you. I wish you best of luck in your pursuit of Jensen. <laughs> <laughs> what pursuit of Jensen is this? Oh, well, you're just so cute on all those CW videos where you're talking about how he's interested in you. I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> no, no, his, he's pursuing me. I'm, I'm not pursuing anything. Jared, you've just been had. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't learn that Ipecac thing. <laughs> How are you? Oh, great. How are you today? Good. Good. Fantastic. I had the great honor once of interviewing Sarah Gamble. Ooh. And um, there was a question that I asked her about you that she couldn't answer. So apparently I have to ask you myself. Okay. Um, given her penchant in the scripts for putting Sam through a horrible yeah. torture and angst and everything, do you cringe every time you see her name on a script? <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> It usually means I'm getting naked. Or, or crying. Or getting naked and crying. Step, step one repeat the process. Um, yeah, it's one of those things that when I know she's written an episode, um, she's she is a great writer, but she really understands the character of Sam. And she really, really vibes with Sam. Um, and so I know that she's gonna give me some amazing stuff. And after I did this episode that y'all just saw, number nine, I was like, ugh, breath of fresh air because I was done, but meanwhile you're really proud of yourself. It's like if you're about to go for a run or something, you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to, and when you're done, you're like, ugh, oh, I feel so good about that. And so it's, it's 
when I see her episodes are coming up, I'm like, all right, well, I'm not going to be sleeping a lot. Um, so I'm going to be working hard. But then I'm always happy with the end result. I was really happy with that. So, so yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. How are you? Good, how are you? Always good. Um, I just wanted to say that I think The Christmas Cottage is a wonderful film. Oh, it was oh, great. Wow. Thank yeah. you. Woo! It was great. And the scenes that you had with Peter O'Toole are just amazing. And really? I just wondered if you had an occasion or occasions to talk to him about acting in life. I did. The, I, the way that Glenn and Tom talked about art and life and what <coughs> whiz, words of wisdom or advice he had for you. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's actually one of my favorite stories to kind of talk about. He and I bonded great during the film, greatly, bonded very well during the film. And it's so funny because life does imitate art. For those who haven't seen it, myself included, um, <laughs> there's a lot of scenes where, where plays basically my mentor and he would take me to his trailer and we would just talk and talk about like Lawrence of Arabia and he was talking about uh, when he was shooting it uh, I guess the 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 foxtrot dance or something that had been invented no the shit the shake the twist the twist the twist was just been invented but they didn't have video of it but there were just pictures of people like doing this he was showing me what he thought the twist was. like and so they, they would think the twist was like jumping around like that or something. And so he's getting up and like jumping around, like this is Peter O'Toole, like jumping around in the trailer. But he did teach me a lot, and I think I learned a lot. Um, unfortunately, the main thing he told me was important was preparation. And so what's funny is that, you know, um, in TV, uh, I shoot most things the day I read them. Um, so you kind of can't prepare because you don't get the scripts at the last second. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm really excited about the movie. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. If you could eliminate one character on the show, who would it be? <laughs> Sam. Sam. If I could eliminate one character on the show, that's a good question. Um, if I could eliminate one character on the show, it has to be someone like beats me up all the time or something. Lilith. <laughs> Lilith. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 but Lilith, she brings such a good um, dynamic to the show. It's kind of a creepy little girl, like, getting really angry and then smiling. Kind of scared me. Um, you know what? I, I don't think I, I would. I, I actually get mad when we kill people. Like, every time we kill a demon or kill a character, I'm like, ah, oh, I've done so much more. And I'm not the writer, so what I just think doesn't matter. But, um, I don't think I'll eliminate anybody. Or if there is, I, I, I can't think of it right now. I think it's just, I think it's nice to see how everything plays out. You know, I wish we still had dad around. Yeah. 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 I wish we still had a yellow ID around. I mean, yeah, yeah that was a fun Azazel, so. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Darren. Hi. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Um, I'm a really big Bon Jovi fan, and I was wondering awesome. if you got to work with him in Crywolf. I, I did. I didn't have any scenes with him, but I got to go out and um, and hang out and drink about how much of a rock star he was. Bon Jovi, for for those who are interested, also fans, is awesome. <laughs> awesome, like laid back. We're out at a bar. Sorry to interrupt. I was wondering no. if you and Jensen are actually fans since they get mentioned. Yeah, in the show, absolutely. Yeah, I, I think I have every album of his on my iPod. Um, and we are fans, and I'm especially, I was a fan already, and I'm really a fan after having met him and worked with him, because he's just like sitting there, you know, drinking a beer in a bar in Richmond, Virginia, not like Entourage, no nothing, just Bon Jovi. It's like, uh, there's John Bon Jovi. Uh, there he's still in this, you know? So, uh, yeah, I have a lot of respect for him. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna answer this because I think I- Thank you. Yeah. Uh, my profile. <laughs> Hi, Jared. My name's Marty. Jared. <laughs> Hi, Marty. <laughs> um, I was wondering, in your uh, future of acting, is there any actors that you really admire that you'd like to work with? Actress? A actor or actor? Did you say actors or yeah, actress? Either one. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, tons. Um, I mean, I've always said that I, I love Johnny Depp's work. Um, I think he, he brings interesting dynamic to all his characters. Yeah, he's incredible. Um, and one that I always forget about, but that I love to work with, is Gary Oldman. Do you like Gary Oldman? Yeah. He's so good. And 
Yeah, because he's the, I mean, you go back and you watch like True Romance and you're like, oh yeah, Drexel, God, he's so good. And so um, I'd love to work with either of those two actors. I think that's the first one. Right, thank, thank you. you. Didn't answer this way. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Again. Again. My name's Lacey. Jim. I was curious. I just watched the last episode right before I flew over here. And I was very, I wasn't surprised about what happened with Rui. Um, I wasn't what are you talking about? <laughs> I was not disappointed at all. Uh, you were not disappointed. Very excited about it. <laughs> As was Sam. Too short. I'm wondering how you feel about the whole Ruby and Sam scenario. What do you mean? What do you mean? Um, you mean what? Sam and Ruby? Um, I mean relations. Relations. Yes. That's good. Um, relations. Sorry, our okay. Uh, I, I think. Uh, I, I actually, I like it. Um, <laughs> just keep holding it. <laughs> Save by the Dean. <laughs> that last step is good. I think we all knew it was going there, and I think it's, um, I love that Kripke gets stuff done, he doesn't just dance around it, um, and I think it shows how, how messed up Sam is at his, at his brother's loss, or because of his, the loss of his brother. Like this. I would be taller. <laughs> and I would just be taller than him. I would want to be able to Ipecac. You know, like, you know that's sort of the day. You have projectile. To, yeah, you'd have to have my hand like this, so you can push a little button and my thing. And kind of, but it, it can't go above that because then that goes bad. It has to be like, has to be a stopper. Yeah, yeah it like can't Iron go too Iron Man high. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. Good old Iron Man. That's that's what My I'm arms would actually need to be able to bend at the elbow so that I could still eat. <laughs> and probably like have some sort of like really disgusting fried food in the hand of Dean so that he's constantly. <laughs> that's what 
they make me do? All the time. <laughs> and they make me a good guy. 